Well, it's 2020, and guess what? I still don't have the latest and greatest tech. So start your engines and check out my latest low-spec upgrade. If you didn't see the first video, I took an HP Compact DC7800 small form factor I paid a dollar for and started modding different CPU cooler, added wood to the case, and so on. I was getting heat issues with the aftermarket cooler, so I kind of skipped out on performance and went with a safer CPU. But after further modding of the cooler, I was able to get full contact and upgrade to a Q9650. Okay, this is important. The Q9650 will not work in this particular PC with the BIOS that was shipped in years ago. So with the CPU that's currently working, you will need to go download the latest BIOS update that HPA had made available. This will be a very important upgrade. Now with the BIOS updated, we can add our... Ah, that was only a few upgrades done, like an extra 2 gigabyte of the world's finest 800 megahertz DDR2. Along with the Q9650, you can see all the speckies here. And why am I talking like this? I have no idea. Anyways, in case I forgot to mention, on the graphics side we have a AMD Radeon HD 5750, pulling in a whopping 1 gig G DDR5. Uh, hey, yo, man, uh, can you cue some of that uh, spec music, please? Uh, thank, thank you. Being that the graphics card is only in a one time slot via extender, I really can't overclock but just try to get running as normal as possible as if it was in a 16 time slot, which I like it where it's at so I wouldn't change it anyways. So what do you think this old 2007 wonder is going to do on old uh, Cinebench Lane? <laughs> Woohoo, those were pretty fun uh, benchmarks, but hey, wouldn't it be cool if we could play like Battlefield 4 on 1080p low? Ah yes, a cool drink and then we can go pick some people off with our quote quad.
Well, I hope 2020 brought you some uh, high-tech gadgets, but if it didn't yet, um, you can always do this. I'm having a blast. <laughs> See you guys.